Hello and welcome to Yadnya Investment Academy. Today we are going to discuss topic what is GDP. We must have seen this term being used very frequently in media to talk about country's economic health. Let's understand what this GDP number tells us and how it is calculated. GDP means gross domestic product. It is the value of all final goods and services produced within a country in each year. that is the geographic area of the country now let me break this sentence and explain each term in detail the measurement of gdp involves counting the production of millions of different goods and services smartphones cars music downloads computers steel bananas college education and all other new goods and services produced in the current year and summing them into a total rupee value now gdp counts the good and services produced within the country and hence does not consider the products that the country imports from some other country so a car manufactured in india and exported to europe would be included in the gdp but the bottle of wine manufactured in scotland and imported in india would not be included in the calculation of gdp gdp calculations only considers the product that are produced in the year of calculation so if a mobile is produced and sold for rupees 5000 it would be included in the calculation of gdp but if someone buys a second hand mobile that would not be considered while calculating a gdp another important factor in calculation of gdp is that it only includes finished goods and not intermediate goods unless they are capital goods what is difference between finished and intermediate goods finished goods are those goods which cannot be sold again and are purchased for their final use for example when a person buys a t-shirt it is considered a finished good and its price is included in the calculation of gdp intermediate goods are those goods which are used to make a finished good for example cotton yarn used to make the shirt one buys comes under intermediate goods and its price is not included in the calculation of gdp now capital goods are goods that are used as intermediate goods to produce a final product but are still included in the calculation of gdp for example a tractor is used by farmers for producing a potato a final good but it is still included in the calculation of gdp now hope you understand what is gdp and why and how gdp number tells the size of a country's economy now we will look for various ways to calculate gdp majorly there are two approaches first is income approach income approach starts with the income earned from the production of goods and services under income approach we calculate the income earned by all the factors of production in an economy what are the factors of production factor of production are the inputs which goes into producing final product or service there are majorly four factors of production for a business labor capital land and management in this approach we calculate income from each of these factors of production which includes wages got by the labor rent earned by the land return on capital in form of interest as well as business profits earned by management some of all these incomes constitutes national income and is a way to calculate gdp here is the formula of national income net national income is wages plus rent plus interest plus profits to make it gross we need to do two adjustments first is add depreciation of capital and second is add net foreign factor income nffi is income earned by the rest of the world in this country minus income earned by the country from the rest of the world so gdp formula under this approach becomes wages plus rent plus interest plus profits plus depreciation plus net foreign factor income this is also called gdp factor cost this basically is the sum of final income of all factors of production contributing to a business in a country before tax now if we add taxes and deduct subsidies then it becomes gdp market cost so gdp market cost is gdp factor cost plus indirect taxes minus subsidies so in india 
we refer GDP market cost as the India's GDP from 2015 onwards. Before that, we used to refer GDP factor cost as India's GDP. Now we will discuss the second approach of calculating GDP that is expenditure approach. This approach is converse of income approach as rather than income it begins with money spent on goods and services. For instance, consumers spend money to buy various goods and services and businesses spend money as they invest in their business activities by buying machinery for instance and governments also spend money. All these activities contribute to the GDP of a country. So mathematically GDP is calculated by this approach with this formula. GDP is equal to consumption plus investments plus government expenditures plus exports minus imports. Consumption is for example you paid for food, gas bill, car etc. Investments for example you bought house, invested in shares etc. Government expenditure example government constructed a bridge, a road, money spent on that. Exports example a pair of shoes are made in India and then exported to Europe. Imports, for example, a dress is made in Spain and is imported to India. As discussed earlier too, we need to include the exports to other countries in calculation of GDP, but we need to subtract the imports from other countries to our country as that is not included as the part of calculation of GDP. Mostly GDP is calculated with both approaches and calculations are done in such a way that values from both approaches should come almost equivalent. Calculation of GDP from above methods gives us nominal GDP of the country. In next video, we will discuss what is the difference between nominal and real GDP. GDP is definitely one of the most important indicator of country's economy but it may not always give the right picture and there are few drawbacks of this parameter. First is GDP calculations doesn't include underground economy or black money, barter and cash transactions that take place outside of recorded marketplace are referred to as underground economy or the money is referred to as black money and this is not included in GDP statistics. These activities are sometimes legal ones that are undertaken so as to avoid taxes and sometimes there are outright illegal acts such as trafficking in illegal drugs. Second is non-market production are not measured in GDP calculations. Goods and services produced but not exchanged for money are known as non-market productions. These are not measured even though they have value. For instance, if you grow your own food the value of that food will not be included in GDP. If you decide to watch TV instead of growing your own food and now have to purchase it, then the value of your food will be included in GDP. So you understand the concept. Third drawback could be calculation complexities and different ways of calculating GDP. As a concept, GDP was introduced when market was manufacturing driven, but now with majorly services driven expenditures, calculating GDP has become a complex mechanism. Statisticians take many assumptions and factors to calculate complex outputs such as financial services, housing services where most of the houses are self-owned, government services which are free etc. Another trickiest part of calculation is adjusting for inflation and finding the GDP deflator. We will talk about this in detail in our next videos. Changes in quality of the product may not be attributed in the GDP calculation. This year's smartphone might cost more than last year, but if so, it will also do more. It is difficult for statisticians to attribute change in price to change in quality as well. Due to this, inflation impact sometimes is overstated. This calculation becomes more difficult in services, price of haircut, may have not just increased due to inflation but also due to better services provided by the barber which is almost impossible to determine by a statistician. With all these drawbacks, still GDP is the most important parameter to define country's economic health. That is all we have on this topic. If you have any question, please do write in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Have a great time ahead.